All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another success case video interview. Today, I am so happy that we are going to share a new story, a new journey uh, with Van Hack. So today, we, I am with Achila, who got a job with Van Hack. Thank you for accepting this invitation to share your journey with us. How are you today? Yeah, fine. Thank you. Great. Uh, first, congratulations. And uh, let's start talking about yourself, about your background. Where are you from? So I'm from Brazil, and uh, before moving to Canada, I worked on the Brazilian Federal Police and for a, quite a, a long time. I stayed there for 17 years, uh, wow. maybe 18, well, something like that. And I, I only left there because I wanted to move to Canada. And Van Hack he was the way to go to me because... Uh, uh, I tried some other ways to find a job, job abroad, and Bahak was the only one where I got interviews, for example, and mm -hmm. eventually a job. That's great. Uh, but how was that moment when you decided to look for a job abroad? Uh, how did you found about Bahak? Um, yeah, initially I thought Van Hack was some presidential meetings because I heard about them uh, occurring in Sao Paulo uh, in the past. Uh, so I did not know uh, initially that you could uh, apply online and do interviews online. Uh, but uh, as I, I, I started actually search for jobs, uh, then I, I, I be, became a, a acquainted with what, how it worked, and it, it was uh, very helpful. Yeah, and you told us about that it was difficult for you to find like interviews with other platforms. So how was the job yeah. search before Banghack? Did um, you try uh, other platforms? Uh, I, I tried to contact some. Uh, uh, jobs uh, uh, directly, but it, it was not easy because uh, uh, most of the time I had no idea if the, the people hiring was, uh, was expecting me to be uh, uh, abroad and coming for, uh, 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 for that position. Uh, the, the position, uh, almost all of them assumed that we were leaving near the place you're looking for a job. So uh, there is that. I tried uh, uh, at least two or three other uh, uh, enterprises that offer similar uh, service for, for, for hack. But uh, the thing is, I never got uh, uh, it never went forward. I never got a, a response uh, from them. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. And this is good. Um, tell us about the interview process with the company that you're working right now. How was it? How was this process? Um, uh, well, uh, the first, there, there was this pre-selection where I, I applied for a bunch of jobs. And uh, some of them, oh, uh, you're selected for the next stage, which is an initial interview. Um, so I, I did uh, uh, some of those. Uh, some, uh, some of them go uh, went well, some others did not. But uh, uh, the, the place I am working now, obviously, it's God well, but uh, uh, it, I think I had about three interviews, maybe four, I don't know, but uh, it, it was a process, right? So, um, so uh, for example, I uh, had an interview which was just uh, with uh, HR people. Uh, I mean, I don't remember in which part of the process that was, but they, they were more interested in soft skills. And, and there was uh, interviews that were more interested in tech skills. So, Yeah, that's, that's something really important. Sometimes we don't think that we have to have all of those skills ready for an interview, right? <laughs> Just the code yeah. and that's it. Great. And did you have a mock interview or a practice interview before you had this interviews with the company that you're working right now? Yeah, I had. I had. Um, 
uh, it was uh, just before the first interview, I have a, a mock one. I actually had more than one mock interview mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I, I had other interviews that uh, didn't go forward uh, later. Uh, so I get, uh, got did it this photos. mock interviews help you to feel like more confident during the real interviews that you had? Yes, yes. Um, well, English uh, was, uh, it still is uh, 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 something to overcome for me because it's not my primary language and fluency was, uh, is always the, my most uh, my biggest problem during uh, for for now for, now for example <laughs> i am struggling with it uh, so uh, having this uh, this mock interview uh, helps with that because um then the, you you don't get stuck so much and you don't have those blanks as much as you could so that's good yeah, that's true. And now that you touched the point about the English, how was the English verification? Did you have to present those videos, like to be able to apply? How was that for you? Yeah, I, I, my first verification, I did not go well. So uh, I, uh, my first verification was not verified. <laughs> so uh, I did not pass. So uh, what I did after that, I. I I entered in an English course and I started to uh, record myself uh, every day oh. uh, to practicing uh, what I should say or uh, inventing some questions or conversations. But I, the, the thing I was practicing. And uh, after 30 days, I tried it again. And, then did the, uh, and this time I passed it. That's good that it's like everything, like practicing is the key, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's move to the happy moment when you receive the job offer. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you describe us that moment when you had the call or the email? How was it? Uh, so I was, uh, I was between two jobs that was going uh, uh, f forward and in the last stages. Uh, one was for Montreal and mm -hmm. the other was for Vancouver. Uh, ultimately, I, I chose go to go forward with the Vancouver one and, and uh, it was a little scary because, oh, and it, 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 if the, the Vancouver one does not... Uh, uh, go and, and the, if it, it, something goes wrong, I am saying no for this other one. But luckily, uh, everything went well. So I was driving uh, when George called me. So I asked him for a while because I had to pull over. And then he got, uh, 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 gave, gave, gave me the news that uh, I, was, have, I have been accepted. So that oh, I can imagine great, that right? emotion day, <laughs> yeah. right? That's good. Um, now you how you are in Vancouver and you are a permanent resident. How yep. had been this journey, like during this year? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, the the uh, it's it's a, a little tense to to be in the situation where you're not completely sure if everything will turn out to be. Right, but, but when uh, while you're progressing in those stages, things are, are more more certain to be. To, oh, you see that things are going well, and when when you finally got, got, have your priorities, is 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 this peace of mind? Okay, uh, and now I, I'm uh, I, I cover those risks that I was afraid of. <laughs> Yeah, like everything is worth it, right? Like because yeah. now you are like set it up. And how is life there? How is life in Vancouver? How it's your family set it up? Yeah, it's, it's great here. And uh, the, 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 I don't, I still have to 
so many things to to know in in, in the the city and um it's always uh it's like you're going in a vacation and you're thirsty and knowing things but uh, is i still feel uh, like that uh, uh, even after more than one year <laughs> i still have things to to know <laughs> yeah it's a process right like yeah. <laughs> it takes time um during this time that did you apply to jobs and everything uh do you thought about giving up and when and why how did you change your mind oh yeah i i was very determined to to, to come but there was one thing that might uh, that would be a deal breaker uh, is that if my sons could not come with me and and there uh, And th there was a problem of the age limit. Mm -hmm. So when I apply it is when it, this age limit locks. So uh, if nothing goes wrong after that, uh, you're fine. Uh, but if I had to start over after the age, age limit of my oldest son had uh, passed, I, then mm -hmm. he, he would not be allowed to come here as my dependent. And then I, mm -hmm. I would give up if that was the case, because then he would, if he would like to come, he would be happy to do everything by himself. And me being in IT was much easier for me to come in comparison with his experience in field. He was studying biology at the time um, then th that it would be uh, more difficult for him to come on his own yeah sure that's good to know um what is your advice to other bank hackers that are looking for a job abroad uh yeah it, you're you're going going to uh, receive uh, no's it's not the first interview that you will get you the job Or maybe it is. Maybe you're lucky, <laughs> but uh, persistence is important. Um, and there is uh, 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 several other things that you uh, could can work on to improve, like English, like resume, like experience. Uh, all of that matters. And interviews uh, are a good. Uh, place to focus focus because if you uh, are able to go better in interviews to improve in that area it i think it really makes a difference yeah that's good to know thank you so much for sharing all the details and your journey with us and for accepting this invitation thank you so much and i see you around thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> bye bye bye